Hi all. Uh, I just wanted to show you the Play Like the Master facility on Chess Mold. I've actually done a few updates uh, just this morning on it. So if you go to Improve Play Like the Master, say all the towel games we've been going over on the, on the channel recently, you can select towel and we can try and emulate him. Uh, so we'll select towel and it will prompt you Try to make it less frustrating this morning as I realized coming back with fresh eyes that to actually try and play through a game is fine, but to try and get all the moves correct if you're actually trying to guess the moves is incredibly frustrating, especially if you haven't played through the game first. But also adding to that frustration is if it's a long game. Um, if, even when I'm doing uh, video annotations on master games say on Tuesdays I try to pick shortish games not games like uh, over 60 moves imagine trying to recreate a, a game over 60 moves so here it's actually doing quick picks which are less than 25 moves I'm just trying to minimize frustration and also you're actually encouraged to play for it first so let's let's take Tao against George uh, we can familiarize so we'll try and play for it first so Tal was white. This was in 1956. Let's try and get an idea. So it's a King's Engine defense. Well, we'll have that as a clue anyway. In fact, mm, no, it's not one we we video annotated. I believe it seems fairly logical so far. Tal's giving the e5 square again. He's, he doesn't mind giving up the e5 square, but he's breaking that down now so we try and get an understanding really I think this is the ideal to try and understand first and then try and emulate later we're not like you know parrots trying to like just recall okay so okay knight takes f7 here <laughs> and I'm confused <laughs> And that's the end of the game. Now, what's happened there? Rook takes f7. Oh, there's rook takes e8. And queen takes, there's knight takes. So, yeah, a great finish. And, yeah, let's let's play that through again. Let's, let's get a grip on this game for attempting, dare I say, the dreaded play like. Hmm. <clears throat> Plank didn't really do anything about e5. I don't know if he could have. The two rooks going to e and f1. This is getting to be curious that when Tal puts his rooks together, they look aesthetic, but they're also very, very damaging usually. So even we've had games with rooks on d1 and e1, and they're usually very, very damaging. So here, yeah, the rooks are combining forces in a way. Uh, they're really helping each other with this knight takes f7 in the end. And it might be worth playing through like multiple times and trying to understand the frets, the, the basic frets of each move. Like, so just once more, just once more, Simish variation King's engine. It's logical so far. Quick d5, black closes the center. White plays g4. This is usually to be able to play, try, trying to discourage h5, but played anyway, h5. Black trying to close up the dark squares. White is opening up the dark squares now that the knight's hit e6. White plays for e5. So rookie one to play e5. So we're trying to just get an understanding really at this stage of this game of what really happened. Now black moving the rook there is curious. And losing that pawn. Yeah, black didn't play particularly well, it seems, to lose this game quite quickly. But okay, now we've reached the basic familiarization with this game you could argue so i'm going to close that window and i'm going to click play like the master now okay so we got a basic idea it was a king's engine defense it was a simish variation so the simish is actually one of the things i used to play against the king's engine quite a bit i played the immediate d5 so here, yeah, this could be frustrating, you see. <laughs> Is he playing knight g2? I'm not entirely sure now. 
didn't play g4 he did play g4 immediately before queen d2 so it's a little finesse then he goes like this then did he play f4 here he did that knight was on a6 yes i remember now white plays for e5 and then he lined up his rooks aesthetically but where did this bishop go i'm not entirely sure my memory is not absolutely fantastic for chess games but once these guys were here now i'm confused what happens here <laughs> exactly again was it bishop h6 no it was about winning a pawn actually 94 he won a pawn curiously this can't be good for black <laughs> retreating his pieces like this and now did he go for the exchange did the knight go back now i'm not 100 percent sure i have to be honest this is why i think this is a very potentially a very frustrating exercise but if you get it wrong three times it will prompt you to show the next move wasn't bishop g wasn't bishop g5 because that can be taken let's try and be sensible <laughs> Uh, I I I I am stuck here. It was not retreating the knight. I think I'm going to show the next move because it's just a very frustrating exercise. It was just king b1, right? King b1. Now was it bishop h6 or knight e4? Okay, here. Yeah. Then we get this final little, it's a nice little move because black's got disconnected pieces. So it's exploiting the fact that the knight is potentially hanging. So yeah. Um, and by the way, guys, if you want to try these, you can see how other people are scoring against your fellow YouTubers. Just click scores at the end. So I've started, so I invite you all to come and use the Play Like the Masters and see how you score and you're encouraged I'm encouraging you to <laughs> cheat but I don't really think it's cheating anymore I used to think it was cheating because of the score thing but I think that skewed the perspective on it who cares about the scores you want to try and understand these games get to grips with some of the ideas you want to learn it's a more learning perspective it's not like a the three day rating list <laughs> so yeah improve Play that in the Masters. Let's have a competition over the next few days. Let's start with Tal because we've been doing so many Tal videos. So if you do that, um, it will prompt you ones you haven't tried before as well, by the way. So I, I encourage you, familiarize first. You might want to play through three times or more, but try and also understand the threats, the nuances. Because things, what did I miss? Things like King B1 and stuff. Uh, you can also, you know, get a view on what you missed uh, as well and, and stuff like that. So there's some good stuff here to check out. So let's have a towel, play like towel competition for YouTubers. So come and check these out and let's see how we start scoring against each other. And if you do that, I might do a few more. And so score against me. <laughs> but uh, but what you shouldn't do, and this really is cheating, just to get a high score, you have this in one window <laughs> and the play light in another. That is cheating. That is cheating and you're naughty and you're only cheating yourself. <laughs> so really the idea is to familiarize first. And if you really are familiar, then you should be able to come back in a few hours, maybe, and then and then click play like the master. So you can get a grip on these like mini games. These, these are games all less than 25 moves. Okay, I hope you might appreciate this facility. Comments, questions, likes, appreciated. Thanks very much.